Hi. In this tutorial video, I would like to show you some of the more advanced options of AI Sensei. Some of them might help you understand your mistakes even better. In the default settings, AI Sensei uses points to measure scores. For example, the mistake of Black37 loses about 5 points, and after that, White has a lead of 8 or 9 points. However, in Go, it doesn't matter if you win by 1 point or by 20. So, because of that, Go AIs don't really play for points, but rather for win percentage. So, let's show that. First, we click on Advanced Options and then display scores as win percentage instead. After selecting win percentage, the AI will be much more strict. So this move now lost almost 16% and you can see that white will win with a 93.8% chance. Of course, that's not a chance for human to win the game, but rather for the AI to win against itself. The score graph also changed to win percentage, so it looks a little different than it used to. Also, there's way more mistakes now, so maybe it's a good idea if we adjust the slider to a higher value. The win percentage view is intended mostly for strong players, but sometimes it's a good idea to change your perspective. Usually, AI Sensei only shows its own variations when you made a mistake. And if so, only the ones that are really much better than the game move. But if you would like to see everything the bot considered, you can go to Advanced Options and select Always Show AI Variation. So now we can see that there's two more moves. And even in situations where there wasn't a mistake at all, it now offers some alternative moves. Also, for the game move, you can click on it and see the variation that it thought would happen after that. If you don't like our cute stone smileys, you can also disable them here. The AI can also estimate for each board point how likely it is that black or white will control it in the end. With other words, it can estimate territory and influence. So let's try that. We enable territory prediction. Now we see that this corner is black. There's some white influence here and here. The rest is quite undecided yet. We move forward in the game. The territories will get much more decided. The territory prediction can also be helpful in finding out where on the board a mistake actually cost you points. For example, have a look at the upper left corner. Right now, this is white. But now that white made the mistake of 44, it suddenly changed to black. The reason for that is that now black has the chance to capture the three white stones using a snapback. We added another view that makes that even more clear. Go to territory prediction losses and now all regions where you have less territory than you used to have with the move before are marked red. Behind the scenes, this function is also used for our stone emojis. So if I enable them again, you see that the sad stones are in a red area. That's exactly how we implemented that. That's all for today. In the next video, I will show you the quiz mode. A fun way to remember the correct moves and to really learn the most from your games. Thanks for watching.